Welcome back to my channel, that's Anit Maya. My name is Anit Nakes and I'm going to take you through how my day looks like as a lecturer. So uh, right now, I am going to, uh, to go aboard a taxi and go to uh, the university. So, see you soon. Go here. My waking up time depends on the day, but today I woke up at around 6.30 and as usual, I checked the temperature around that area. Oh my goodness, if it's so cold, I always come out with the bed sheets and that bed cover. And then I spend some time in the bed. I can see that now I'm transforming into a tortoise-like structure for some time. And then from there, I go out of the bed as a human, yeah, magically. I take some water and then after that I get the courage to leave the bed and go turn on the light. After turning on the light, I just get my toothbrush and paste, go to the bathroom, brush my teeth, then take a bath and then prepare and leave for work. So when I bought a taxi, I go to Kampala Tax Park and usually it takes me about one hour because of traffic jam. Oh my goodness. I stay on Ginger Road and Ginger Road is one of the busiest roads in Kampala. When I got the main road to board the taxi, I can wait for about uh, 20 to 40 minutes depending on the day. But this happens only between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. In that case, the only option is taking a border border. But Ginger Road is really busy, so I really fear taking a border border. I only take it when it's really necessary and very, very urgent, but I normally do not take a border border on such a busy road. The other option is using a train. I have used, you know, the Ugandan train so many times. I love it. It saves a lot of time, you know, so if there is any traffic and I have really important things to do at, at the university, I wake up so early. The only problem with the train is that it has to leave by 7.30 and I have problems with waking up. So, yeah, on those days I have to swallow the pill and I'll be like, yeah, let me wake up early and go, you know, with the train. Yes. This time around, oh, we, are, we are so lucky. Uh, the cars are so few. I think it's because of the fuel prices. So the traffic jam has significantly reduced. We arrived, you know, in Kampala so early, and then I got a border border that took me to the university. So come on, enjoy the ride, enjoy the drive, enjoy the journey.
is my favorite uh, street, Meza Street in Kampala, because uh, whenever I come here, I find that it's not congested and I'm free to run <laughs> in case I'm late for my class or in case I have to give an, an exam to my students. I run and I think so many people on that street see me running and they're like, who is this girl who is always running? They are always, uh, they called Ami people, Ami people, and I just pass on them like I don't see them. So I think they are always like, why is this girl always running? <laughs> Yeah, but it's so clean and it's not congested, so I really love that street. Yeah, so now I'll go and meet my uh, Boda Boda guy. He's my Boda Boda guy, you know, though he's a shy person. But I mean, he's always, you know, uh, telling me, you know, great stories before I start uh, getting, before I get on his bike. And then after, you know, the, uh, is it is it like bargaining, bargaining? Okay, how much, how much? I have this, I have this, yeah. Sometimes I today I found that he increased the price, so I was like, "Come on, it is it a be?" But he was like, "No, I need the fuel prices." So after agreeing, then I got on the boda boda. There you go, there you go. You can see her. There you go, there you go. She's on the bike, and now she's ready to meet her students. Yeah. So this is um, Namirembe Cathedral. For those who don't know, yeah, Namirembe Cathedral, and my university is just there. I have just entered the university, so, all right, guys, yeah, yeah, see you soon. <laughs>
Maybe next week. Yeah, next week on first. I'll present first and then we do the revision. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Yes, because I can't you can't present for all those all those hours. And then I also present, don't do it too much for your brain. I'm not saying that your brains are small, they are big enough, but you can't focus over two hours. Yeah. Yes, that's true. Yeah, human yeah, human brains are not made to function like that. They function for short time and then they go off. Short time they go off. Yes, so we are going to be having a group one members, so please I uh, come and start your presentation. I'm going to be judging you basing on uh, five um what are they? Five um there's a criteria, right, for grading you, and there are five compartments that I'm going to base on to give you uh, the points. That will be uh, understandable, uh, the structure of the presentation, simplicity, and then, you know, proper citations, uh, font size, uh, the times, and all that. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 don't, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. I'm going to send that to you. Don't worry, I'm going to send that to you, but I also sent you some information, you know, yesterday through uh, Sanishia. So, yeah, but don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. What you should worry about is your ability to explain these things in a flowing manner. Because I think I've not told you this, but the thing is that I'm going to ask you about what you're going to present today in the final exam. So, yes. So make sure you understand what you're talking about. As a teacher, I am not supposed to say this. Mm -hmm. Have you had any other children telling you what they're going to say? Yeah. Yes. Um, oh, really? Yes. So you are using me to say more. I will not. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anyways, I'm going to ask you about what you're going to present. So understand your area very well, okay? So group one, please. The floor is yours. Yeah, you can start. And I'll be at the bus judging you. I'll be asking you, why are you on the video? No. So probably. <laughs> I'll be asking you questions, you know, after the presentations, and the class will have a chance to ask questions. So uh, I will also have to give you know, extra points for people who have been able to answer the questions from the class. If you are in the audience, do not ask questions that are not pertaining to what they have presented. Ask questions that are related to what they have presented, and these questions, you know, not extremely hard because you might ask you might ask something that you know they don't know. You're still asking. It's okay. No, 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 no. Not bad manners. It's okay. They're challenging you to read more, you know. But don't ask really very, very hard questions, okay? We have just finished. It is about six thirty. We started our presentations at two. Yeah, we have just finished and now I'm going to eat more before I go home. Yeah. So from now I'll go and do some uh, TikTok videos, so yeah, <laughs> I always get time for TikTok. Yes, and then I also check some questions, you know, um, now from the students, you know. So during these presentations, uh, students ask really important questions. So I do love, you know, uh, reflecting on them and, you know, trying to, uh, to get more questions from their questions. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do basically. Hi guys, I have just finished eating again, so I will go home now. <laughs> I'll go board the taxi and go to my home. So, talk to you later. So, I'm leaving the gates and now I will be uh, going home. Bye. I mean, you know. Thank you so much for watching. Be blessed. Bye. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming along. 
yes we we're like i told you my day depends on what i have to do on a specific day mondays i always teach from two to six then on tuesdays from eight to eleven so yeah my day will differ on tuesday but i mean that's how my monday was thank you don't forget to subscribe